Hello, welcome back to How to RV. I am Jason, and today I want to talk about monitoring your refrigerator. What I mean by that is the temperatures inside of your fridge. So you have your refrigerator side where you keep your regular food and stuff like that. Things that you don't want to go bad on you really fast. The fridge. And then you have your freezer where you want to keep things frozen. But how do you know that those temperatures are staying where they're supposed to? Well, I have found a $20 solution for you. And that is with a thermostat with more than one input. So I found this on Amazon. It was a little under $20, I think like $19.97 or something like that when I bought it at the time. Anyway, the reason that I bought this one is because it has two additional sensors in addition to the one that comes inside of this unit. So with that, I could take one sensor and put it in the freezer, one sensor in the fridge, and then this one here that monitors the inside temperature of my RV. The way that this thermostat works is that there's three different temperatures on here. One at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. The one at the top is one of the remote sensors, and so is the one in the middle. The one at the bottom is the temperature that's in the side of your RV. So what I did with mine is I took the temperature sensor that goes to the top and put it in the freezer, and then naturally the next one under it is going to be the one that goes inside the refrigerator, and then of course again the bottom number or the bottom temperature is the one that reads the temperature inside of the RV. Now the whole setup process was super super simple. So the two sensors that go inside of the fridge and the freezer both take AA batteries. So you slide off the back, you put in the two AA batteries, and then you stick the sensor inside of the freezer or the fridge. Then on the back of the thermostat display, you open up a little door back here and it takes two AAA batteries. Now, word of the wise, I did not read the instructions first, and I went ahead and put the batteries in the sensors and put them in the freezer and the fridge, and then put the batteries in the thermostat display right here, and it wouldn't work. And the reason that it wouldn't work is because you're supposed to put the batteries in the display first and then into the sensors. The reason for putting the batteries in the remote sensors last is because when you put the batteries in, it'll send out a communication so that this will know to pick it up and start working. These buttons right here do different things for you. This one here starting at the top has to do with the sensor number two. That's the one we put in the freezer. And then the one below that is the one that we put in the fridge. And then the one below that, of course, is the RV itself. When you click on them, it'll give you the alarm setting. So if you push down the button for three seconds, you can set the upper and lower alarm. So if you want this thing to tell you that your freezer or your refrigerator or the inside of your RV is going above or below a certain set point, then you can set that inside of here. Once you hold either one of these for three seconds to set the alarm limits, over here we'll have a plus and a minus. So once you select it, then you can hit the plus to take the temperature up or down on the alarm setting that you want to set. When you're not in the alarm settings, the top button up here will do your Fahrenheit and Celsius, depending on where you live and what you want to see. So you can click on this once to get Fahrenheit, click it on again to get Celsius. On the back side of the display has this little stand, so you can take the stand and kick it out, and you can set it up somewhere so that you can read the display no matter where you put it. Also on the back side has this little screw hook thingy, it's so that you could put a screw in the wall and you can hang it from right here. Now what I did with mine is I put it over by my thermostat inside of my RV. It's just the place that I wanted to put. And on the back side, I put Velcro so I can stick it on the wall. And if I want to put it somewhere else by putting out the stand and setting it on the table or something like that, then I can just pick it right off the wall, set it up and be good to go. And when I'm done on the table or wherever else I'm going to put it, I'll just take it, put it right back on the wall with a Velcro and be done. Now for the remote sensor, it also has this little clip that'll open up and clip onto something as well as one of these little mounts that you can screw or screw on the wall and mount it elsewhere. With that being said, when I say elsewhere, these aren't only just for using in your fridge. You can put them anywhere. The temperature range on these will range enough to do your fridge or outside or inside of your RV, no matter where you put them. So if you have other purposes for these, they'll probably work for you. Now that I have the display mounted where I want it, I need to go ahead and put the clips or the remote sensors inside of the fridge and the freezer. So to do this in the fridge and the freezer was really simple. Like I showed you, the clip on the back side of the sensor is perfect for clipping on something inside of the fridge and the freezer. So inside of my refrigerator, I have racks in both the fridge and the freezer that I could put the clips on. So all I did is open the clip just a little bit and slide it over top of the rack so that it holds itself there. And then it can start reporting the temperature back to me 
on the display. If you're interested in what temperatures the Food and Drug Administration recommends for your fridge or your freezer, I'll pop that right over here so that you can kind of have an idea of what temperatures you should be looking for when you're looking at your display. Also, if you're interested in having a copy of that photo, shoot me an email and I'll show somewhere down here below my email address so that you can hit me up. Also, if you'd like to get one of these for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can go get yourself one. And until the next time, keep your fridge and freezer monitored, enjoy your trips, and God bless.